my heart about a date um, for a while now. Um, and today he showed me, I believe on September 20th this year, he showed me a picture of a rock formation and the sides of it fall away. And so it becomes like a, a tip of a knife is what he said. I saw it as like sharpening a pencil to make it and then I felt like the pen of a ready writer and I can't remember what goes with that but I feel like on the 20th there will be revealed a falling away that sharpens to a point Lord, write upon our hearts, Lord. Write upon our hearts. Gird us up. Help us to cling to you, cling to the rock. Let it be our firm foundation. We thank you for the sharpening. We thank you that you're at the point, you're at the head. Help us sim submit to that. Pray into that, Lord. Let us not be the part that falls away. That remains to be part of that pen of the ready writer. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe that's a, that's a word from the Lord. Now this is how we handle it, according to the Bible. Okay, this is 1 Thessalonians 5, 16. Re rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecies. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. So this is what we do. We test this word. The way we test it is we pray into it. If you just hear the word and you don't do anything with it, that word, if it's true, will happen and you won't benefit from it. So we test the word, we bring it before the Lord, we speak it to him. Okay, what are you saying about September 20th? What are you saying about this falling away? What are you saying about the sharpening of a point? If you'll talk to him about it, whether the word is true or whether the word is false, you'll benefit from talking to the Lord about it. This is the way that biblical prophecy works in the New Testament. One or two th prophets, they speak in order. If one has something else, that one, the first one flies down, the second one speaks, and then the congregation has to test these things. When words like this are given, it will test us if we don't test it. And we don't want this word to test us. We want to test it. So Holy Spirit, I'm asking right now, would you grow us up in the spirit of prophecy? We thank you that you're releasing what we've been praying for. We've been asking for the spirit of prophecy in this place, and I thank you that you're releasing it, even date-specific prophecy. Would you help us to be responsible with it, Lord? That we wouldn't look to another to tell us what God is saying, that we'd listen to the word and we use it as an invitation to talk to you about what you're saying. We just thank you that you're growing us up into a mature people who rightly handle the word and prophecy. And I'm asking right now, if you, if you want this, if you just want to have a, a grace to test the words of the Lord, just lift your hands up. We're just going to respond to the Lord for a second. Holy Spirit, I'm just asking, would you give us a grace to mature in our knowledge of you right now? We just thank you for this invitation, not to just believe it, but to test it, to bring it for you, trying to believe it, but only listening to what you say. I just thank you for the spirit of prayer. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you want every one of us to know Jesus, that you're the comforter, that you're the one who is sent to remind us of what he said and to teach us new things as we can bear it. So I'm just asking for an increased capacity to bear the spirit of prophecy. That we wouldn't ramp up, Lord. We'd actually dial it down. And we'd bring this amazing ability, Lord, to hear God that we're learning to do. And we'd dial it down and just learn to talk to you. In it. I just thank you for what you're doing in this room, in this moment. I hear the Lord saying, mark this day. Mark this day. Mark this word. Test it. But remember it. Don't forget it. Thank you, Jesus.